Okay, so in the previous video we have set up the animations and the rifle in the player hand. Now in this video we're going to work on our weapon controller. So for the weapon controller what we're going to do is we will create a new script in the player folder by the name of weapon. Alright, or you can name this as shooting controller if you want. Then press enter. After this you can open up the player, then the hips, spine. Or you can just click on this rifle, it will select this rifle and drag and drop the weapon script to it. Okay, then you can open it up in Visual Studio Code. And from here, we're going to remove the start and update method. Once you remove that, then we have to set up our shoot and reload button. So click on the controls folder and open up the player controls. And if I show you, in the player actions, we have the shoot and the reload button right here set up, okay, which we set up in our previous videos. We just need to read these buttons whenever they are interact with, okay. So on the input manager, right here, after the jump input, create another bool by the name of shoot input, then another bool which will be by the name of reload input once you have this then right here we're gonna say player controls dot player actions so just copy this first line from here and paste it and then change the jump to shoot dot performed and instead of the jump input we're gonna type the shoot input bool then you can copy it again and paste it right down below and now instead of the performed we're gonna type cancelled and when it is cancelled then we're gonna set it to false then you can copy these two lines and paste it then change this from shoot to reload and right here change this to reload input down below as well now once the buttons are set up now we are good to go to work on our shooting controller so first of all we will be needing an integer by the name of damage then we need a reference to our camera after that we will create a float by the name of fire rate then a private float by the name of next fire then a private bool by the name of is reloading then we will be needing a reference to our input manager script so you can name this as input manager as well okay then create a header by the name of ammo and in here create an integer name it as mag then set it to 5 then another integer by the name of ammo and set this to 30 after this we will create one more integer by the name of mag ammo and set it to 30 as well alright then create another header by the name of animation in here create a reference to the animator then create a start method in here we gonna set the ammo actually let's skip this step for now okay and let's go ahead and add fire to this okay so just change the name from start to fire of the method then what we are gonna do in order to fire is let me explain this is a simple method which we are using in most of our courses okay we will be shooting using raycast so how are we going to do that? For example, this is our player right here. And 
this is the camera which is set up behind the player okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna cast ray from the camera position in the forward direction and if that ray hits any object or any player then we're gonna deduct that and we will take the health script from that that player and apply damage to it according to the uh, player weapon okay for example if the player damage uh, the player weapon damage is 10 then 10 damage will be applied to this player all right now let's close that and right here we're going to create a ray so we will say new ray we want to cast ray from camera position and in the forward direction so camera dot transform dot forward all right then as i told you we want to store whatever we hit so we're going to store it inside this hit type variable okay raycast hit type variable so You will say physics dot raycast let's pass the ray origin then ray dot direction then whatever it hits we want to store it in the hit and we want to limit the ray distance by 180 so whatever is in the 180 range the ray will hit it all right because as you know that every weapon has some range so for our weapon the range will be 180 okay and store this inside an if condition so if we are creating a ray and that ray is hitting something right now we want to store whatever this ray hits okay we are storing that in the hit and now we want to show its name that whatever the player shoots or you can say hit in order to do that just simply type debug dot log player shoot player shoot plus hit dot transform dot name right and it will show the name of whatever the player hits with the ray and make sure right here the origin o is small right or else it will show an error so once you do this then we only want to shoot whenever we press the shoot button so for that we will create the update method in which first of all we will say if the next fire is greater than zero then next fire will be minus equals to time dot delta time after this we will say input manager dot shoot input if the shoot button is pressed and the next fire is less than or equals to zero which means if the player doesn't shoot and if the ammo is greater than zero it means if the player has ammo left and the player is not reloading but for now we don't have reloading so we're just gonna skip this step and move to the next one in which we're gonna set the next fire to one and divide that by the fire rate all right and then we're gonna decrease the ammo so ammo minus minus then after this we're gonna call the fire method and this is all we have to do for firing all right now you can just save the script get back right here we need to assign the camera so open up camera manager and drag and drop the main camera in there then the input manager for the input manager we're gonna drag and drop the player it will automatically select the input manager and the same for the animator 
all right you can set the damage to whatever value you want for example i'm gonna set it to let's just say 15 all right and that's it then you can go ahead and play the game Okay, let's click on the game view here it is now if we shoot right here as you can see nothing happens let me check why it doesn't show the debug message which we typed and the reason behind that was that we didn't check this uh, console messages option right here okay so make sure that you click on it and then uh, change the fire rate to 10 because we forgot to set the fire rate for the weapon as well okay once you do all of that then let's select the weapon again and let me start the game okay once the game is started click on console now as you can see the player shoot all right as i told you you just have to open up this debug messages thing and also you need to change the fire rate to something like 10 or whatever value is suitable for your firing all right now if we shoot this van as you can see it is shooting the van all right and when the ammo becomes zero as you can see the player stop shooting you can notice the ammo right here is zero all right and now we don't have any reloading mechanics so in the next video what we're going to be doing is adding reloading to our weapon so see you guys in the next one